Ryan Salson here with Accelerate Marketing, and I am really excited to answer the questions that you guys have given me over the last recent few months. So if you got any questions at any time, please ask them right here on the YouTube channel itself, okay? Next question would be, if you guys have it, okay, how do I get back in the good graces of Google if I have lost my rankings and not getting my calls? Great question. And I get about two or three of these appointments every week with business owners that cannot believe how Google gave them this quick rise in the number of leads that they're getting on their local service ads. And then all of a sudden it just drops off. So there's some drastic measures that you can take, but I would not do any of that until you have everything set in place to make sure that you can give reviews on a weekly basis, like we've already discussed, and that you can give Google what it wants in terms of the response rate with that 20 second delay, we're sending the, the call to your intake team for the first 20 seconds. And if they don't answer, we send it to the AI agent. Some businesses don't even do that. They just send it directly to the agent and they don't send any more the calls to their intake team. Now, I think that you're probably gonna have a little bit better conversion rate if you at least have your intake team answer the phone calls as, as often as they can. So I hope that makes sense. Hey, Brian. Is it mandatory to have a Google business profile to open an LSA account? So great question. And I would say for optimization purposes that it is mandatory. Here's the reason why, because it makes it so much easier for you guys to get reviews because when you connect your Google business profile page to your local service ad stage, it's much easier to get the reviews on your Google business profile page and then have them transfer to your local service ads page than the other way around. It's very difficult to get a verified review on the local service ads platform. So when we take on people, it, we almost make it mandatory that the business owner has a Google business profile page that is connected with a local service ads account. So I hope that answers your question. Google's constantly going back and forth on whether or not they require this. And again, this is the reason why it's so important to work with a team that can manage your local service ads page because this information changes all the time. Okay. LSA is very expensive. If I limit the value to $20, will my business get some phone? It depends. Google, it's supply and demand. If you're going to come in too low and you're going to do max bid versus max leads, max bid means you're going to bid your maximum amount per lead. This is the reason why a lot of times we'll go with max leads and we'll just let Google bid what they think is necessary to get the lead. Because some of these lead costs have, have become so expensive that if you don't have a really high conversion rate and you don't, for example, convert a lot of those leads to long-term clients, which are going to be worth a lot more, then you're not going to make local service ads work. This is the reason why you want to implement strategies that your competitors are not. Because I still talk to a lot of business owners that do not, and I repeat, do not have their response rate hammered out. They do not have a solution. They're not responding to more than 30 or 40% of their calls in less than 30 seconds and they don't call them back. And so that's a lot of this opportunities that you're just paying for. And if you just answer those phone calls, then your conversion rate is going to go up and your overall value you're getting from the, from the platform is going to go up as well. So I hear you, it's getting more expensive in some of these verticals, but it's still way less than what you would pay for a lead or for a new client for that matter, if you went through pay for click or regular Google ads. Dex, will a higher manual bid help ranking higher in results compared to max lead bidding? Great question. Here's what I would recommend Dex. If you do max lead and let Google basically identify the bid that you should give, instead of doing that, and if you do a manual bid, sometimes that can help. If you're in a, a new vertical and you know that you've got a lot of room for upside. You can crank up that bid and really outbid anybody because there's no competition. There are still verticals that have no competition. If And by the way, you can find this out by doing a search, type in the city and the keyword, and you can see if it says Google Guaranteed or Google Screen at the top. And if it doesn't, then there's not a Google Local Service Ads business that's even running ads. And if that's the case, then you're the only one. So that's the situation that you would like to be in I would go for it. And a lot of those verticals are like veterinarian, yoga, studios, et cetera. There's a, a real big opportunity because there's not many businesses that are running local service ads 
for those verticals. So the answer is yes, sometimes it can help. Now, keep in mind also, Dex, you don't want to switch that manual bid to max bid too often because it does take a little while for Google to reset the algorithm. So you don't want to switch it back and forth too often because I see so many times business owners going from max bid to max lead and they keep changing it and they wonder why they're not getting any leads. Okay. And this is why it typically takes about three to five days for Google to start sending you leads anytime that you change it. Okay. Anytime that you change the, the bidding. I hope that helps. Okay, Carlo, how necessary is AI tech to businesses is a good question. So AI tech is important. I would say that the easiest entry point for you to start leveraging AI as a business that has the most impact is through conversational AI, meaning using AI to do customer support and to answer inbound leads that you have, both voice and messaging, and also responding to your emails. I mean, you can actually create an AI bot or an agent of yourself to answer any questions for people. So I would say, start by doing that. Start by having all of your messages, all of your phone calls, all of your emails responded to by AI. And you're gonna have a lot of savings from that. The typical person is gonna be two to $3,000 a month and you have to train them. And then if they leave, you've got to retrain them or have that person train the next person. There's typically a delay in getting things started again. So, I mean, this, you'll never have any downtime. You can go 24 seven and then the sky's the limit. Right now, whether you use us or anybody else, what I would encourage you to do is to make sure that your agent is specific to your vertical so that you get as much value out of it as you possibly can. And so that it has the knowledge base of your business, okay? That's the key. You wanna have all of the knowledge base of your business so that the agent can answer any question that's specific to your business so that it's more effective. And the other key that I'm gonna really pose to you guys is make sure that the agent, if you're gonna set it up, can schedule appointments with whatever calendar system you use once it identifies and qualifies the person. That agent can also communicate with your CRM. And when that person comes in and has a conversation with the agent, make sure that information, that new lead can very quickly be added automatically to your CRM. Okay. That integration is really, really important. A lot of businesses use Go I Level. They use a bunch of different CRMs and you want to make sure that whatever agent you use, that that prospect's information can be transferred immediately to that CRM. So great question, Carlo. Okay. Angel Lopez, how much would it cost to have you do an audit for us? Like an audit to identify whether we should open up our next GLSA location with the least amount of competition. Okay. We don't charge anything to do an audit like that. We, we can't share the actual document that Google sends us as a partner level agency with Google local service ads, but we can definitely tell you the locations that you might want to look at opening up a new location under NDA. We cannot obviously share the document itself, but this is the kind of information that we get as Google local service ads partners. You know, it really does help our pages and clients that we work with. It helps them to get better results and to save you a lot of time, energy, and effort. Um, because what that list looks at is it looks at the locations that have the most searches for your particular keyword for your vertical and the least amount of competitors. It combines those two very important variables and it looks at all the cities in the US and it says, okay, where are the top cities that have the least competitors and the most searches for the most leads, potential leads. So I hope that makes sense.